linear algebra like say 3 on example of vector space by Dr. P. Ramlu, head department of mathematics, MBS Government Arts and Science College, Mahunagar. So, last lecture I discussed uh, some example of vector space. Uh, today, also I am discussing some other examples of uh, vector space. Okay. So, uh, prove that uh, m n cross n over f a equal to a j n cross n matrix is that a j will of f is a vector space over the matrix addition and uh, scalar multiplication. Uh, yesterday, in last class lecture 2, I discussed m2 cross 2. Here, I am putting n cross n. In place of 2 cross 2, just substitute 2 n cross n, we will get same solution. So, I am taking that a equal to a j, b equal to b a j, c equal to c a j, a plus r. Close the property. Let a comma b belongs to m n cross n over f. So, these two elements are belonging to a comma b, uh, m cross n. a plus i b i equal to a j plus uh, m cross n plus b i j. That equal to uh, matrix addition, we know that uh, that equal to right. Uh, so, elements are okay, uh, adding that a j plus b i j m cross n. This a j b i j belongs to f. So therefore, a j plus b i j also belongs to f. So, this element belonging to m n cross n over f. Therefore, m n cross n over f satisfies closure property. So, we can take that to m n plus n only, not need not be right over f, just two, two elements belong to m n plus n over f, ok. Associative property, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus is nothing but b i j plus a i j, a plus a i j plus b i j nothing but a i j plus b i j, uh, so some bracket you can write here, plus so c i j, next I want to write here, a i j plus b i j plus c i j, that equal to a i j plus b i j c i j of it then I, after that I want to write it a i j plus b i j bracket c i j but because a i j b i j plus c i j so just now you can write here associate property I am verifying here so uh, a plus b plus c right uh, a plus so b plus c So, A nothing but oh, what is A here? A nothing but oh, A i j of n cross n. Plus so, B plus C nothing but oh, already we know that oh, B i j. Plus C i j. of n cross n matrix okay. this is you know that so what can i do now here i am doing that uh, a i j plus b i j plus uh, c i J n cross n matrix, right? So this I am adding here. So from this a i j b i j belongs to field F. Uh, this element are belongs to field F. Uh, F satisfies uh, associate property inside. So this can be written as so how I, I am writing here. A i j plus uh, So we are writing here B I J plus so C I J. Of n cross n. So from the here I am writing here. Now one more thing I am writing here. Yeah. What can I write here? So we can write here. A i j plus b i j plus c i j equal to a i j plus b i j of 
n cross n matrix so plus uh, c i j n cross n matrix so this nothing but uh, uh, this nothing but uh, a plus b of uh, plus c so therefore a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c so this is the associative property now we have to prove right uh, Ident property. I am taking zero o equal to o i j zero i j. I am taking small o i j n cross n. That means o i that but each uh, row and column has zero element belongs to m n cross n. Here uh, belongs to n, n cross n. So that also belongs to m n cross n. A also belongs to m n cross n. I am writing that o oh, a plus o is equal to this a m n cross n. Uh, n cross n o i j n cross n a i j n cross n that equal to a. So I'm adding this element a j plus o i j equal to a j n cross n. See here what happened. A j and o i j belong into f. So a one one like this a o that number zero. All element belong into field field satisfies identity property. This a j plus o i j equal to a j. A j nothing but n. Here m n cross n satisfies identity property. Here n cross n. Okay. Inverse property. Uh, let minus a equal to minus a i j n cross n belongs to m n cross n over f. Here minus n cross n already just now I given okay. Here n cross n over f this belongs to n cross n. That's why I am taking here n cross n. A plus minus a that equal to a i j plus minus a i j plus a i j minus a i j equal to o i j. That equal to o i j n cross n that equal nothing but o. So that means uh, minus a plus uh, a plus minus a equal to o i j that equal to o. Therefore, minus a is an inverse element of a. Therefore, m, m n cross n or f satisfies inverse property. Here I am taking that oh, a comma will have m n cross n, n cross n not f, right? So a plus b i by j plus b i j. These two elements belong to f, a i j plus b i j by n cross n. If these two elements belong to f, that you can return as b i j plus a i j. b i j can return as b i j n cross n, a i j n cross n. A plus B is equal to B plus A for all A comma B last M n cross N. Therefore, M n cross here M n cross N F satisfies a billion property. Uh, okay, you can uh, I'm verifying that oh, the property C times of A plus B. Oh, oh my, okay, anyway we can write uh, uh, other way also. C times of A plus B, C times of A I J plus B I J, C I A I J N cross N plus C B I J N cross N. C A I J N cross N plus C B I J N cross N that equal to C A plus C B. So it is easy. Uh, that means uh, it is over. You get a C plus D A I J, C plus D A I J. You can return as C A I J N cross N, D A I J N cross N. You can, uh, this goes to in infinite here. And what happens C A I J, D A I J. You can return as uh, C A. This is as D A. For all A C count belongs to and A belongs to M N cross N over F. External composition actually okay. C A that equals C A I J C goes to inside. Then what happened? C A into A I J belongs to F. So this entire belongs to F. This element belongs to M N cross N over F. Therefore M N cross N satisfy external composition. C D all C D A that equals C D A I J N cross N that equals C D A I J N cross N that equals C D A. So it also satisfies. One dot A one dot A I equal to under one into multiply this to all element here. One dot A I equal to A I J N cross that equals A. So it also satisfies the uh, M N cross N satisfies all properties of vector space. Therefore, M N cross N is a vector space. So not you can place of F. We can take that here Q R C M N cross N M N cross N or R M N cross N or C are vector space. So the set M N cross or Q is vector space over the field Q, but uh, over the field R and C is not vector space. So this set. M N cross N over Q is a vector space over the field Q, but not over the field R and C. Why? Because it does not satisfy external composition property. If I take root to here, if I multiply this set to the, if, uh, the resultant element does not belong to this set. Therefore, 
it is not vector space over the field R and C. The set M and cross is vector space over the field Q and R, but over the field C, it is not a vector space. The set M and cross over C is a vector space. The set M and cross over C is a vector space. Note the set M N plus N over C is a vector space over the field of Q, R and C. So, uh, similarly it is look like uh, C is a vector space, so the set C is a vector space over Q, R and C. Similarly, this is also vector space over the Q and R of C. Similarly, we can prove that uh, M M cross N over F that equal to A J M plus N A J C B plus N. This is written as, so it is a rectangular matrix. Previously, we have proved that the square matrix a rectangular matrix so similarly you can write same properties in place of n cross n you can write m cross n so is that aij belongs to f so this set uh, is also a vector space right instead of m n cross m you can write n cross m also okay so m a m going to be any numbers that's why these are all vector space okay m n cross n over q m M cross N over R, M N cross N over C are vector space. M3 cross O, nothing but this is the vector space over the field Q, this is the vector space over the field R, this is the vector space over the field C. You can place you get M3 cross 2 is a vector space. 3 by 2, M, in place of M by 2, I am writing 3 by 2. Now you can write 2 by 3, 2 by 4, 2 by 5, anything. So those are all vector space where the field Q or C are will Set of all polynomials, I am doing here polynomial. Set of all polynomial of, of the form A0 plus A1t plus A2t square plus Aij belongs to F is a vector space for the field F under the polynomial addition and the scalar multiplication. I am taking here 2 degree polynomial simply. So I am taking, I am consider that, uh, consider set P2 over F that equal to P of t that equal to A0 plus A1t plus A2t square such that Aij belongs to F. So for this, I am taking that, oh, this set I am denoting P2 over F. So I am taking that two elements in the set, oh, F of t, G of t. F of t equal to A0 plus A1t plus A2 square, A2 t square. G of t equal to B0 plus B1t plus B2 uh, t square. H of t equal to C0 plus C1t plus C2 t square. Where A i's and B i's belongs to F. So similarly, you close the property. I am taking two elements in uh, P2 over F. Oh, f of t comma g of t belongs to p2 over f if i add in two element f of t plus g of t that equal to a naught plus a1 t plus a2 t square g of t nothing but b naught plus b1 t plus b2 t square if i adding those what will get here a naught plus b1 according to polynomial addition the i want and quotients constant coefficients and do multiples of t and multiples of t square a naught one b1 plus a2 b2 over t square that belongs to p2 over f therefore P2 over F satisfies closure property with respect to addition. Associative property. Let F of T comma G of T comma H of T belongs to P2 over F. F of T plus G of T plus H of T. F of G of T plus H of T is equal to how to write here? This is G of T, this is H of T. F of T is equal to A naught plus A, A1 T plus A2 T square. So I am mean adding constant of this, you will get this. If I adding constant of uh, this and this, what we will get here? A0 plus B1, B0 plus C0, A1 plus B1 plus C1, A2 plus B2 plus T2 square. Okay. Here, if I add this thing, what happens? A0 plus B0 plus C0, A1 B1 plus C1. Here, uh, A2 plus B2. Why? Because this A0, B0, C0 are belonging to belong field element to field satisfies associative property. A0 plus B0 plus C0, it may written as A0 plus B0 plus C0. Similarly, a1 plus b1 plus c1, it may written as a1 plus b1 plus c1. So similarly, a2 plus b2 plus c2, it may written as a2 plus b2 plus c2. So here I'm doing what I'm doing here. I'm separating these terms. They are a0 plus b1 plus a1 plus btt plus a2 plus bt square plus c0 plus c2 t. So I'm this nothing but f of t plus g of t. This is nothing but h of t. So p2 of F satisfies associative property. Identity property. I am taking O of t is equal to 0 plus 0 t plus 0 t square belongs to P2 over F. The 0 polynomial. I am taking here F of t is equal to P2 over F. F of t plus O of t that equal to A0 plus A1 t plus A t square plus O of t nothing but 0 plus O of t 
0 t plus 0 t square. I am adding this coefficient to a naught plus 0 plus a1 plus 0 t a2 plus 0 t square. a naught plus 0 equal to a naught, a1 plus 0 equal to a1, a2 plus 0 equal to y because a naught plus 0 or the element of a field, it satisfies identity property. A naught plus A naught equal to A naught, A one plus A naught equal to A one, A naught plus A naught zero, zero is also identical in F. Therefore, F of t plus O of t is equal to F of t. Therefore, F of t satisfies. Sorry, P two of F satisfies identity property with respect to addition. Inverse property. I am taking let minus F of t plus P two F. F of t plus minus F of t. F of t nothing but A naught plus A one t by minus F of t nothing but this. I am so adding this term a naught plus minus a naught, a one minus a one, uh, a one plus minus a one, a two plus minus a two. Here a naught plus minus a two equal what happen? A naught and a one comma a two belongs to element of field. Field satisfies inverse property. So a naught minus a naught equal to written as zero. That means so a minus a naught is the inverse of a naught and a naught is the inverse of minus a naught. So that's why it turns zero. Similarly here a one is inverse of minus a one. That equal to turns zero. A two minus a two. A2 minus A2 is the inverse of A2 that we turn as 0, 0 plus 0 t plus 0 t square that equal to O of t which equal to minus F of t plus O of t that means uh, P2 over F satisfies inverse of T and minus F of t is the inverse element of F of t in P2 over F. Abelian property. Let them taking uh, F of t comma G of t belongs to P2 over F. F of t plus G of t that equal to A naught plus A1 t plus a2 plus a t square plus b naught plus b1 t plus b2 plus t square. So, what I am doing here a naught plus b naught, I am adding constant terms, adding t terms this thing. So, a naught plus b naught equal to b naught plus a naught. Why? Because a naught comma b naught belongs to f, f is field, f satisfies abelian property. a naught plus b naught k written as b naught plus a naught, a1 plus b1 written as b1 plus a1, a2 plus b2 written as b2 plus a2. If I simplify this thing, we will get b2 plus b1t plus b2 square plus a2 a naught plus a1t plus a2 square. This is g of t, f of t. Therefore, f of t plus g of t is equal to g of t plus f of t. Therefore, p2 of f satisfies abelian property. External composition. C into f of t. C. f of t nothing but oh, this c belongs to f, f of t belongs to f2, p2 or f. I am multiplying this c a naught plus a1t plus a2t square. That equal to c a naught plus c a C1 AT plus C2. So this element belonging to field F. This element belongs to field F. This element belongs to field F. This whole thing belongs to P2 or F. Therefore, P2 or F satisfies external composition over field F. So seventh property C into distributed property that I am writing here C into F of T plus G of T. Ignore C into this. So that equal to what I am writing here. C A naught. That nothing but to A naught plus so B naught plus C. A naught plus B2 that equal to x. What time writing here? Um, uh, yeah. mm. So uh, one more question I, I want to write here. A naught plus B naught plus so C into A naught plus B naught plus C into A1 plus B1 plus C2 into A2 plus B2 or T square. Later that I want to write that C1 A naught plus C no uh, C naught B naught and C1 A1 plus C2 V2 plus C1 A2. Later I will write C0 A0, C0 A1 T, C0 A2 T plus C2 B2 plus C1 B2 T, C2 B2 T. I am common out here C into A0 plus A1 T plus A2 T square. If I take common out into C, if I take what we will get here, B0 plus B1 T plus B2 T square. So that equal to C into F of T, this is nothing but F of T, this is nothing but G of T. So therefore, C into F of T plus G of T is equal to C into F of T plus C into G of T for all S C belongs to F. F of T comma G of T belongs to P2 over F. Eighth condition, C plus D F of T. C plus D that equal to F of T nothing but this. So, C plus D A naught plus C plus D A naught A1 T, C plus G A2 T. So, this can be written as C naught A naught D1 plus C naught A1. So, C A1 plus D A1, C A2 plus D A2, into, right? This can be C A naught plus A1 T plus A2 T square. D into A naught plus A1 T plus A2 T square. This nothing but F of T. This nothing but G of T. So, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, this is both the same, right? F of T. C F of T plus D F of T. Therefore, C plus D F of T is equal to C F of T plus D F of T. Ninth condition. C D F of T. That equal to C D A naught. This equal to, if I take down here, C D A naught A1 T plus A2 T square. That equal to C D F of T. Is equal to this. 
वन डाट एफ आफ्टी ईक्वल वन एफ आफ्टी वन इंट ए नाट ईक्वल ए नाट वन इंट ए वन ईक्वल ए नाट ए वन वन इंट ए टू ईक्वल टू ए टू बिका दी वन एंड ए नाट बिलांग टू एफ वन डाट ए नाट ईक्वल टू ए नाट इन फील्ड एफ बिका ऐडेंटी एलिमेंट साटिसफाइस वन इज ऐडेंट एलिमेंट एफ एफ सो ऐडेंट प्रॉपर्ट साटिफाइज नथिंग बट एफ आफ्टी वन इंट एफ आफ्टी ईक्वल एफ आफ्टी देर फोर पी टू ओवर एफ साटिसफाइस आल प्रापर्टी आफ एट स्पेस ओवर फील्ड एफ देर फोर पी टू ओवर एफ of f is a vector space so similarly you can say that pn is a set of all polynomial at most degree n is a vector space over the field f so similarly i want to check that c pn over the set of all polynomial at most degree n is a vector space over the field so just now already i proved that up to degree n in place of n i am putting here to uh, proved just now so what you do In place of uh, these two, you can put n. You can prove all these problems. So that means you have to verify closure property, associative, identity, inverse, and abelian, external composition. So and other all other properties, right? If you verify that, uh, then P n is a vector space over the field. F o. So similarly, you can prove this easily. Okay. F o is a vector space where f is equal to single time zero comma one. Other example, I'm writing here. This is the same field. This is over f is a vector space, right? F into zero comma f is a field here, zero one height. So if f is equal to this, then q over f, r over f, c over f are not vector space. Okay, uh, by because this are the uh, operation with respect to Aristotle model two. This operation with respect to Aristotle model two and Markov model two. So with this, uh, with respect to this operation, these are not field. We take m n over cos q, m n cos q are not vector space. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so these sets not right. Uh, these sets uh, over the field have this field, so are not vector space But because these sets. Uh, Unable to apply operation to this operation. Addition model to and multiplication model to they are unable to apply in these sets. So that's why if I take this field, these are not vector space. Why? Because if I take two elements a comma b, okay, one by two comma one by two, one by two comma one by three. What is the operation if I apply model to unable to apply model to for that element? That's why this is not in my. If I take root two, root two plus root three. Root two plus root three. Actually, model three. What is the? How can we apply? Are able to apply right? In model two, the uh, rational labor, rational labor. That's why these are all not vector spaces. Zero vector space. Zero vector space, right? The set uh, O equal to single time zero is a vector space over the field F is called zero vector space. Be careful here. The set O here. This is capital O equal to single time zero. He is vector space or any field F is called zero vector space. How it is filled? So that means uh, I want to show that uh, uh, this is uh, vector space. Um, zero is vector space. So uh, okay. Here yeah, I am taking that. Uh, okay. So I am taking that uh, here. So O equal to single time zero. What can I verify? I want to verify that oh, this is vector space. If I take any field, so my field is F. So that equal to you may take uh, Q R. Okay. This are field and taking that. That equal you could take that as single time zero comma one also. If I take zero, okay. So if I take uh, what can I verify that is, I want to verify this is a vector space over the field, right? If I take two elements zero comma zero zero plus zero equal to zero, that means it is associated uh, closure property. If I take three elements zero plus zero plus zero is that equal to zero plus zero plus zero is that for associated property. So identity property zero plus zero equal to zero. So it has identity property. Inverse property zero plus zero that equal to zero. Zero is identity and zero inverse of zero is zero only, right? It has inverse property. 
heavy lamp property zero plus zero that equal to zero plus zero. If I take two elements here, here. So I am taking this element a zero and other element also zero. So zero plus zero that equal to how we can write here zero plus zero only. So that's why it is has a heavy lamp property. So external composition property you can take any element in this set. So suppose if I take one by two. 1 by 2 belong into in this set. You can take any number here, 0 only, right? 0. 1 by 2 into 0 equal to 0. So, if I multiply any number to 0, you will get 0 only. If 0 belong into, right? Single time 0 belong into the set O. So, therefore, if I take any element, if I take root 2, this, if I take root 2 in this set, then what happens? root 2 equal to 0, 0 will not oh. If I take C, complex number, write I. So, I into 0 equal to 0, that equal to 0. Therefore, I also, I into 0 equal to 0. That element also belong into this set. It's a satisfy external composition property. You can verify that C into 0 plus 0, that equal to C 0, 0, C into 0. That means it satisfies either condition also. You can that C plus D into 0, that equal to C plus 0, equal to C into 0 and D into 0, that equal to 0. C0, D0 equal to 0, both are same, therefore that also satisfies. So, if you take C, D, 0, that equal to 0, you can take that C, D also 0 equal to 0, you get 0 only. Uh, okay, other thing is 1 dot 0 is equal to 0. The tenth condition is 1 dot 0 equal to 0. 1 dot F is equal to U, right? Here, 1 dot 0 equal to 0. This is a vector space condition. So, that's why single time 0 is satisfies all properties of vector space or the any field therefore 0 over f right i am taking that uh, o over f is a field so so zero vector space is denoted by like this this is uh, zero vector space zero vector space this is uh, about the zero vector space therefore the set single time zero is a vector space over the field f is called zero vector space over f where here i'm taking that over f f is equal to zero comma one additional is a vector space over q over q that means single time zero set is a vector space over the field q over the field r over the field c there are the vector spaces o n cross n over f See, this is a zero matrix is also vector space and if I and take any field this is zero matrix is a field and vector space over any field if I take zero matrix is a vector space any field right where o of a where zero is equal to here zero plus a to right it is r zero vectors in this space right let so I want to some problem let uh, v be the Let V be the first quadrant in XY plane that is uh, let uh, V is equal to X comma Y, X greater than or equal to 0, Y greater than or equal to 0. If uh, U and V are in V, if U and V are in V, is U plus Y in V? Question mark. V is the first quadrant in the XY plane, I am taking that. V is the first coordinate in the XY plane that is let V is equal to this. So, if uh, u and v are vectors in u, he is u plus y in v, y. So I want to prove that this. Find the specified vector u in v and specified vector scale of c such that c u is not in v. I want to show that uh, u and c in c in field any vector u u by multiply is not in v. So solution. I am taking that uh, let uh, v is equal to this set. So in this, I want to have two elements x1, y1, v is equal to x2, y2, where x1, y1, x2, y2 are positives, these are the positives. u plus v is equal to this plus this, that equal to x1 plus x2, this is y1 plus y2, that belong to v. u plus v belong to v. Why? Because so, this is positive, this is positive, this is also positive, this is positive, this is positive, this is also positive. If these numbers are positive, this belongs to V. These numbers are also positive, this means this belongs to V. Therefore, U plus V belongs to V. Second one, U is equal to 1 by 2, C is equal to minus 5. I am writing directly here. Uh, okay, first one. Is U plus 1 in V, Y. 
so that means so why because so if i take positive so sum also positive that's why this element belongs to this element belongs to v if i take u is equal to 1 by 2 u c is equal to minus 5 i'm taking here if i multiply c is equal to minus 5 1 2 that equal to minus 5 minus 10 thus does not element belongs to v why because this minus 5 does not greater than 0 this minus 10 also does in place of minus we can take that minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 1 comma 2 so if i take 1 comma 2 uh, if i take a minus element here instead of 5 you can take any minus element oh, if i multiply, if i do cu that what happen minus 5 into 1 by 2 that equal to this element oh. this element does not belong to be why because all element of the first coordinate oh, lies in first coordinate only minus 5 minus 10 does not in first coordinate that's why it is not oh. External composition. So, let I am taking that. Oh, let V be the set of all pairs of real numbers, a comma B and or R B are field of rational real numbers. They show that with the operator A1 B1 plus A2 B2 equal to A1 plus A2 comma 0. Second one C into A1 B1. Yeah, into equal to C into A1 comma B1. So with this operation, V over is not vector space. Okay, we want to prove that this set is not vector space over the field R. So given set is C is equal to AB such that uh, P is equal to A1. I am taking that uh, A comma will occur. I am taking that B is equal to A1 B1. Q is equal to A2 B2. R equal to A2 B2. Right? Close the property. P comma Q will have to be P plus Q is equal to A1 comma B1 plus A2 plus B2. That equal to if I add two elements, then what happen? A1 plus A2, have a Q2. And this belongs into Q, according to definition of this. As given definition. So, we satisfy closer property. Associate property. You can take that P plus Q plus R, A plus B plus, P plus Q and nothing but this, so R nothing but this. If I add in this, we will get 0. If, uh, if I add in this element, we will get A1 plus A2 plus A3 equal to 0. So, P plus Q plus R equal to A1 plus P1 that equal to a2 plus b2 if I adding this so we will get this if I adding this we will get 0 a1 plus a2 zero. if therefore these two elements are same therefore we satisfy the associate property with respect to given addition and condition addition different condition identity I am taking that to t is equal to a1 v1 belongs to v and o is equal to 0 0 belongs to v p plus o is equal to a1 comma b1 plus 0 comma 0 that equal to a1 plus 0 that equal to 0 a1 plus 0 equal to a1 that equal to 0 does not equal to why because p plus o must be equal to p only right uh, p plus if i take p is equal to a1 b1 o is equal to 0 comma 0 that's p adding these two element we will get that a1 0 plus 0 that equal to a1 will, i want to get p but not equal to p therefore p plus o not equal to p that equal to p plus o plus p Ident element does not satisfy exist in this set. So V does not satisfy ident property over the field R under the given operation since uh, W does not satisfy all properties of vector space. Sorry. V does not satisfy all properties of vector space. Therefore V is not vector space. We want to show that according to this definition it is not vector space. That's why I'm knowing that it's not vector space. Let So, uh, some theorem I want to prove that uh, let uh, V over a be a vector space, okay. V over a uh, be a vector space 0, O belongs to the 0 scalar in and O bar be the 0 vector then. So, I am taking that V over a be a vector space 0, you can write 0 be a 0 scalar and uh, O be a 0 vector space. O D A zero vector space. Then A into O bar. A into O bar. That equal to zero bar for all A comma B last F. Second one. O into U that equal to zero bar for all U last V. Third one. A into minus U that equal to minus A U for all A B last F. Comma U last V. Fourth one. Minus A into u that equal to minus a u for all a belongs to f and uh, comma u belongs to v so fifth one a u is equal to zero bar 
is equal to a equal to 0 or u is equal to 0 1. Third work is 6 to 1 a a u u minus a equal to a u minus a v for all a comma plus f u comma v last to v. Eighth condition minus a comma minus a into minus a if I multiply to this thing where you for all a comma last to f u belongs to v. So for this sort of thing for some theorems okay. proof let to v over b a vector of this and to zero be the scalar zero scalar and to zero bar be the vector i am taking these sets right so first condition what can i i put that uh, a into zero bar is equal to zero bar for all a belongs to f so what i am taking here let to a belongs to f a plus zero bar that equal to a into zero bar that equal to a, I'm what I'm doing here. I'm taking that zero bar equal to a into. I'm considering a into zero bar. Zero bar nothing but zero plus zero bar. I'm writing here. So what can I do now here? A into zero bar equal to what can I write? A into a bar. A into zero bar plus zero bar. But because zero bar is identity vector in your f, that's why I'm writing this. You can write this. Here I'm writing here a zero bar b so according to definition 7 vector plus 7 condition what we have to what we can write here c into u plus v that equal to what right here c u plus c v that's why i am writing a u a zero bar equal to a zero bar right so this gets this cancel out by cancellation law a into zero bar equal to a into zero bar these two elements are cancel out what we get here a into zero bar equal to zero bar that both are same so therefore a into zero bar equal to zero bar for all a belongs to so second one u belongs to v i am taking that what can i prove that to a into zero bar equal to zero if i only for oh sorry o zero into u is equal to zero bar for all a belongs to zero into u is equal to zero bar second condition i am taking that u zero into u o into u that means uh, this o interacts zero plus zero that gives zero into o zero into u that means zero u zero u cancel out i am writing here this is vector this can add if i add we will get this that's why o into zero bar o sorry zero into o u that is zero bar plus o u right? both get cancelled out zero bar equal to o u so by cancellation let u comma b uh, u belongs to v and a belongs to f from one uh, what can i i want to show that uh, this thing a into minus u is equal to minus a u i want to prove this from one what we know a into zero bar equal to zero bar which implies uh, a into minus u plus v zero bar equal to minus u plus v so for So that equal to why because why can I add uh, I, okay, I know that uh, v is a vector space v complex abelian group if I take any element u u plus minus u is equal to 0 bar it satisfies abelian so inverse property with respect to addition in uh, vector space that's why v is a vector space this can written as is also you can apply vector space condition uh, 7 a into minus u plus a into u that equal to 0 bar by definition of vector space so uh, what happened here? A is an additive inverse of A minus U. So A U is an additive inverse of A minus U. Therefore, A minus U that equal to minus A U for all A belongs to F comma U belongs to A. So we can observe here. A U A minus U is equal to minus A U or can write minus A U for all A belongs to F U belongs to F. Is it? Relative inverse of f, right? So I am showing this. So fourth one, I want to show that uh, minus a u is equal to minus a u for all a belongs to f u plus. I am writing here. Let a belong into f, uh, u belong into v. So from two, what can I know that o into sorry, zero into u is equal to zero bar. 
hero kita jatuh. Hmm. Zero into O equal to zero bar. So zero kita jatuh minus A kah plus A into U that equal to zero bar. Minus A kah plus A equal to already we know that C plus D into U. I am applying that condition. C plus D into U is equal to what can I write here? C D. That is nothing but minus A into U. So A into U. So minus A into U plus A into U that equal to zero bar. Therefore A U is an additive inverse of minus A U. So therefore minus A U is equal to minus A U for all A belongs to F and U belongs to V. So that means minus A U is equal to I prove that minus of A U. Next fifth one condition A U is equal to zero bar. If a equal to zero, then what happens? There is nothing to prove that. If a not equal to zero, since f is field, every non-zero element has multiplicative inverse. This thing I know. So a into zero bar, a into equal to zero bar. I am taking that. If a equal to zero bar, if there exists not uh, a equal to zero, nothing to prove. If a not equal to zero, then I want to prove that a is equal to zero. Since f is field, every non-zero element has so inverse so multiplicative inverse. So that's why f is field. I am multiplying a not equal to zero. Therefore, a must exist. I multiply a inverse to the both side here. Then what happens? A inverse a u that equal to a inverse zero bar. So a inverse a is equal to u that equal to zero bar. So nothing but uh, a inverse a equal to one because uh, um, I don't inverse property. If satisfy the inverse property, these are element belongs to field. Field satisfy inverse property. A inverse a equal to I am writing out. One dot e is equal to zero bar. Maybe a inverse zero bar equal zero bar. That is called also. So by property one, just a into zero bar. In place of a, what we have here a inverse. That's why a inverse is zero. U is equal to zero bar. So because one dot e is equal to u, that is called zero by definition of vector space. So therefore, a u is equal to zero. Therefore, a u is equal to zero. I want right. Which implies, I want to show that a equal. If I take that uh, a equal to zero bar, I I prove that u equal. Therefore, what can I do? A equal to zero bar implies a equal to zero or u is equal to zero for all a belongs to f, u belongs to v. Let to a into u minus v uh, that equal to a times of u plus minus v. So a u. Plus so a minus v, that equal to what can I write here? A u minus a v. Since a is vector space, it may be as a u plus a v. So according to vector space, so for condition, so this can be as a u times so plus a minus v. Here a u minus a v. So since also a vector space condition, or you can use so previous property from already just prove that a minus v equal to minus a u. From that you can use here also. So that equal to a u minus a v. Therefore, u minus v all can I that a into u minus v that equal to what can I tell a u minus a v for all u comma v belongs to u belongs to v and a belongs to a uh, u comma v belongs to f u v and uh, a belongs to f. Seventh condition. Uh, for let a Minus a minus v uh, uh, that equal to minus of minus a u by two it can be as minus a u so minus a plus u that is minus of minus a equal to minus a u let to u belongs to v okay so that means so uh, hence proved all properties then hence proved theorem also let B over B a vector space. If a comma plus f and u plus v, where u is not equal to zero, then a u equal to b u implies a equal to b. If a plus f where a not equal to zero, u and v plus v, then a u plus v a v, which implies u equal to v. So be careful that uh, if a comma b plus f and u plus v. Where a u not equal to zero, then a u equal to b u, which implies a equal to b. If a u belongs to f, and where a not equal to zero, and u comes from then a u is equal to a v, which implies u is equal to v. Let uh, I am taking that v over vector space. 
Let a comma belongs to f, u belongs to v, u not equal to zero bar. Consider a equal to b u. So what I am doing now here, I multiply both sides minus b u. Multiply both sides. Sorry, adding minus b u both sides. Then what happen? A u minus b u plus b u minus b u. So I am taking common to same by according to definition of vector space. I can write as this a u minus b u equal to a plus minus b into u. This also written as b plus minus b is equal to u. So a plus so minus b not equal to u. It is as a di minus b u. Here b minus b is equal to b minus b equal to zero. We will get a minus b is equal to zero. Okay. So that is a o zero is equal to zero bar. So already proved. Right. Just now theorem. A minus b into u equal to zero bar. So uh, which implies a minus b equal to zero bar. Since so uh, u is not equal to zero, by cause uh, why because a minus b equal to zero, u is not equal to zero. Therefore a minus b is equal to zero. This implies a equal to b. Therefore a u is equal to b implies a equal to. Right? What I am taking here, I am taking that a comma b plus f and u plus v. I am both side I am adding uh, adding minus b u. So I'm simplifying that a minus b into u equal to zero. Since u not equal to zero, by theorem must be a minus b equal to zero. A minus b equal to zero implies a equal to b. So first two theorem is proved. The second one, I want to take that a u plus minus a v that equal to a v plus minus a v. So I'm taking a common to u plus minus a v, but take common to. So what we'll get here? A minus a v. That. Right? So a into u minus v is a minus a equal to how much here zero that equal to b that equal to zero bar. Ah, sorry, here a plus zero minus a this is scalar that way zero into v that equal to zero zero into v equal to zero bar. So uh, a not equal to zero that means zero u minus v equal to zero bar which implies v is equal to v. Therefore a u equal to a v equal to right. So now I want to prove that uh, let uh, V be a set of all pairs of real numbers and F is a field of real numbers with the operation so x1 y1 plus x2 y2 equal to 3 y1 plus 3 y2 comma minus x1 minus x2. Second one is c into x1 y1 equal to 3 c y1 minus c x1. Then show that V over F is not a vector space. Be careful! I am again repeating here. V be a set of all pair of real numbers and uh, F is field of real numbers with the properties x1 y1, x2 y2 that equal 3 y1 plus 3 y2 minus x1 minus x2. So second one is 3 x1 uh, into y1 that equal 3 c y1 minus 3 c x1. Then show that V over is not a vector space. I'm taking that V is equal to a set of all pairs. That way I'm taking a comma B such that a comma B is R and F uh, field F is equal to R. Let P is equal to A B and Q is equal to uh, P is equal to A one B one Q is equal to A two B two so R equal to A three B three. I am showing that. So before the end, I verify that. Uh, so I want to verify some properties. So first of all, I want to verify closer. So P comma Q belongs to Q. This is uh, easy to satisfy. So simply that P comma P that equal P plus Q that equal to P one A one B one plus A two B two. So according to definition of that, uh, what can I do here? Three B one minus plus three B two that is minus A one minus A two. So according to definition of vector space as defined as follows. Therefore, we see that the closed property is a bit under definition. Associative. Associative can be either p plus q plus r. We can use it to understand that by using some definition. So it is easily satisfies. So we over if satisfies associative property with respect to addition. Okay, we can verify easily. This p plus q plus r can take this. So we can apply uh, above definition. We will get this. Similar, we can take this. So we will get the same answer. Therefore. P plus Q plus R equal to P plus Q plus R for all P comma P plus two R. Identity property. Let uh, E is equal to x one x comma y is identity element in V. I am taking that too. And P is equal to A one B one. I want to find identity element to A one plus B one plus x y that equal to A one comma B one. So three B one uh, plus V uh, y uh, that equal to comma minus A one minus x. So according to definition of uh, already we decide just now. Mm, a one b one equal to what you know that three b one right? Again definition of given here. This thing is equal to minus a one minus x two and three b one and c one like this. So that equal to a one b one. If I simplify this, what happens? Three b one three five equal to a one minus a one x one equal to 
If I simplify, we will get x comma y equal to g. So, so minus a one minus b one that equal to a one minus b one minus b two, right? Which is not equal to a comma a one b one. So, uh, okay. So, if I take that uh, this ident element, uh, uh, ident element uh, does not exist in u. Why? Because so. Uh, um, so we want to verify that is equal to x comma y ident element. Oh, I'm taking that e is equal to this uh, x comma y. If we observe that p plus e, p plus e. What is p? P is equal to a one b one. E is equal to how much? Oh, e is equal to this. If I add this thing, uh, so this may not be equal. This and oh, p plus e. So both are not equal. That is not equal to p. If I add p plus e is equal to both are not equal. So therefore. Ident element does not exist in so v does not satisfy all property vector space for the field or under given operation. Therefore, v over R is not a vector space. So, so this is so uh, in the lecture three on linear algebra. Tomorrow we will discuss uh, other topics. So, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, Better to be wrong. Okay.